hello team and welcome back to the channel so in today's video we will discuss about trivi as a part of devsecops so devops you already know but when devops is extended using integration of different security tools then this whole process of devops become devsecops so basically there are different security tools like anchor trivi and few more like dependency check so these tools these tools help in finding out uh, vulnerabilities then other issues in uh, your source code your your docker image and other things and in this way like those uh, vulnerabilities can be uh, fixed and then it is like completely uh, your application deployment process completely become secure so trivi is one of those applications which will help you to find like known vulnerabilities then uh, misconfiguration if you are using ise then sensitive information and secrets if there are uh, mentioned in your like repository software licenses and like uh, issues with your uh, docker images and so so trivi as at this point trivi can be integrated with different things like uh, it can be used over a container image file system directly we can like scan a github repository directly we can scan a kubernetes cluster aws and vm image as well so in this video what i will show you i will show you complete process from scratch for installing trivi on your system then using trivi to scan your docker image a kubernetes cluster a github repository and a proper project so everything i will show you from scratch so make sure to watch the video and follow the steps from the description so with that being said let's get started Okay, team. So what I have done, I have just created a AWS VM, Ubuntu based VM. I have created, and I have just logged into it using the uh, private key. Okay. So now let's start by installing Docker because we are going to like run the TV scan over Docker images also. So let's run the Docker commands, and then we will uh, pull an image and try to run security scan over that image. Okay. So. One by one, I will run these commands. Okay. Also, like all the commands that I'll be using here will be mentioned in the description, so you can just get it from there. Also, the main reason that uh, I'm like showing you about Trivi, uh, why you should learn about it, because. it's simply like adding one more step in your uh, like uh, uh, devops uh, uh, devops process for example if you are using jenkins you, uh, you are having like different steps you can add another security scan uh, step in your uh, jenkins file okay so it's still running So it's completed. Let's run next step, just to restart Docker. Also, these two stages, uh, these two commands I have added so that that permission denied issue you don't get. So let's run that as well. Okay. So Docker is done. Let's just check one time. Docker pull hello world. Okay, so image is able to be faced, and to view the images, we can run the command as Docker images, and you can see one image is there. Okay, next step is to install Trivi. So for installing Trivi, we will run these commands. These also will be mentioned in the description, so you can just uh, get it from there and run on your machine okay let's copy these stages as well Okay. 
okay so last command is to uh, apt-get install trivi since we have already added the repository of trivi so we can just install it now okay okay also the version that is it's installing is 0.40.0 .0. okay so trivi is installed just to confirm one time we can run the command as trivi hyphen v and as we can see the version is 0.40.0 .0. okay now trivi is installed now coming to uh, thing that i have already told previously also but once one more time like where we can use uh, trivi is like container images uh, like images that we are having in our docker repository on that image also we can run trivi security scan to generate a report then we have file system file system basically refers to a folder inside which let's say we are having a project so on that file system or folder inside that also we can run trivi scan then on git repository so you can just provide the trivi command along with the uh, git repo url and it, uh, the trivi will run security scan on that repository also then we have virtual machine image so vm image also we can run then we have kubernetes so over your kubernetes uh, cluster also you can run uh, trivi scan next on aws as well now what kind of issues or vulnerabilities trivi will find is like uh, s bomb basically like os packages and software dependencies in use that are inside like uh, whatever package we are having then we have known vulnerabilities CV cves these are basically the vulnerabilities that are already found out and that are publicly available so these also if it it's exist in, inside the package or image or any in the folder it will also be found out using trivi then isc isc issues and misconfigurations so isc is basically infrastructure as code so for example like when we want to create new cluster vm or something using a script so we use terraform so we'll be having multiple scripts so on that also we can run trivi scan then we have sensitive information and secrets so like uh, sometimes uh, in your repository or project like uh, password sensitive, sensitive information like user id password then secrets or tokens may exist so that also be uh, like scanned by trivi and that report also can be generated that it exists or does not exist then we have software licenses so these are the things that trivi will help us to uh, do the scanning okay now what i will do i will first of all i will fetch one uh, one or two docker images okay so docker pull and ginx first uh, we will pull this one so basically what i will do i will like run its security scan on these images and generate a report basically what i want to do is show you how the report looks and how we can see okay so to run trivi scan on this the command that we can run is trivi image and the name of image so name of image is nginx and we can just click enter so this may take a little bit of time because it generates a very huge report which is already categorized in uh, in severity like lo low category medium category critical or high that also we can customize for example like we want to uh, see only high uh, high high uh, high severity issues that also we can categorize that also i will show you first let it generate the report and let's see how it looks okay okay so the report is generated and it's a very huge report so let me scroll it up to the beginning yeah from here a short short summary is there total it found 144 unknown is 3 low 86 medium 23 high 27 critical 25 and here you can see there are different columns as well library which inside which library it found the issue apt vulnerability which is existing is this one cve 2011-3374 severity is low install version is this one and title so more detailed information about that severity you can go on this url and get uh, found the details about that now let's say that we we, do, we want to like ignore the uh, uh, low level uh, issues so in that case what command we can run in that case uh, for example yeah this one so let's copy this and same thing i will run on this okay let me clear the screen 
paste it here and then here we will provide the image name in our case it's nginx let's see what happens see now the now the issue severity level is high and critical low and medium are gone and only we can see now high and critical uh, severity issues so this is a good way to like uh, filter out the uh, severity or issues or vulnerabilities in your package or image okay okay now now what i will do i will create a folder with a specific project and inside that uh, inside on that folder we will run the trivi scan okay so first of all for that what i will do i will search for some kubernetes sample yamls any project you can use but uh, sorry okay okay let's say that we want to run on this so what i will do i will just copy the url and clone it so let me just make one directory clone the repository okay so it is it is done okay the folder is there now let's say that we want to run a trivi scan on this folder for that also we are having command as trivi fs meaning the file system on which we want to run now here next we need to provide the this one severity like what kind of checks uh, uh, sec different security things like what kind of checks uh, it should be applying and then we need to provide the name of folder click enter and yeah so you can see the scanning has started and it will generate the report so this is also like it has generated in a very uh, big format as you can see okay as i said like complete detailed information about each yaml like you can get by going through this report now the problem is that every time if you are generating report and every time it just comes over this screen we cannot like go over it again and again so it's better to have a local copy of everything and we can download the report and then we can analyze it okay so in that case so what is preferred is this option okay uh, so this is basically uh, let me type it and let me explain you what it does see trivi image so here that means we are going to perform a trivi scan on the image and where the format of the result should be json format then hyphen o means output that means like uh, the uh, result that report should be put in inside this specific file okay then here we can provide the name of image and click enter now what it will do it will create a see it will create a uh, one specific file results.json with results.json name and inside that all the report will be there which can be downloaded next next and then it can be analyzed so if i run the uh, run the let me clear the screen first so if i run ls command you can see there is a new file created which is results.json so if we can download it then we can analyze this further so this like solves the issue that uh, anytime like uh, if you want to an do proper analysis you don't need to every time go into the vm and check uh, scroll up and down and check the report instead you can get the res report generated put it in a specific file and download that file okay not only this like uh, this option also we can run like a report summary on the kubernetes cluster but as of now since i have not installed uh, kubernetes in my local machine but i would suggest like uh, since i have already shown you how to install kubernetes so you can like install kubernetes and run this command as well okay so as you saw like there are different options that we can run and there are different sort of like scan we can run on different uh, images uh, projects folders and like repo and what not so this is how you can go ahead and add this trivi in your like devops uh, steps so this is pretty much like about uh, trivi 
in upcoming videos what i will do i'll be like adding this uh, trivia in my jenkins pipeline devops uh, devops uh, steps so that's all for today and thanks for watching